Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Angelique Espinoza for the Boulder Chamber YouTube channel, and I'm here with Ed Byrne, who's running for Boulder City Council. Ed, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for having us. This is great. Great opportunity. Wonderful. Hey, our viewers are really interested to know what you would do to advance Boulder's economic vitality. Well, I'm going to do what I've been doing for the last 32 years in Boulder, working with the business community to accomplish the objectives of goals of our city and its citizenry. Uh, the good news is that Boulder's progressive business community is not the enemy. It is the resource that allows us to achieve many of the goals that we aspire to. Uh, one of the reasons I've chosen to run is that I watched Boulder becoming more and more of a resort community. Uh, as I was commuting to Denver years ago working for the Colorado ski industry, our workforce was moving further and further away and we didn't, couldn't seem to figure out ways to bring them home. Uh, the future is going to require us to reduce our carbon footprint and that footprint includes the people who drive in every day. Uh, the population of Boulder is not 100,000 people, it's 150,000 people on any given work day. And we need to find ways to, to lure them back and at the same time strengthen our neighborhoods. The sub-community planning that we were doing in the early 1990s began when I was co-chair of the North Boulder Sub-Community Plan Steering Committee and has not progressed very far since, in part because I think we've been hoping for magic to happen, and there is no magic. The fact is people that live in an urban environment appreciate the quality of their neighborhoods. And what we have in Boulder is really the results of 60 years of auto-dependent planning where we've put our housing in one place and the offices in another and the retail shops in an, and you end up driving almost everywhere to do almost anything. Uh, over the next 30 years, we need to fix what we broke during the last 60 years of experiments. And I think we can do it by following the planning principles that have worked and have stood the test of time. And that means building great neighborhoods we would all love to live in. We've got one, the downtown mall, but Boulder has six potential sub-communities and we need to find a way to remix those communities over time. It's gonna take a while. But remember, the 150,000 people are already here. We're just trying to allow them to sleep in the same place where they work, shop, and play. So over time, that's going to be what strengthens our business community. And eventually, we will continue to be the place that Boulder has always been. Great. Thanks, Ed. I really appreciate it. Is there one last thing you'd like to say to voters? Please vote. Don't recycle that ballot when you get it in mid-October. You will know enough to make a good choice at the end of the month. Thank you. Fantastic. This is Angelique Espinoza signing off for the Boulder Chamber YouTube channel.